Hey guys, in this video we are going to install two Tesla Powerwall 3 with a combined 23 kW AC output and uh, 27 kWh hours capacity. It's going to be connected to 24 solar panels, 405 watts each. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. Roof material is a concrete tile, W shape, and we're going to install iron rich tile replacement. So as a result, we're gonna have many spare tiles that we can replace where it's broken or damaged. I have detailed video how to install this kind of mount, but in a general, we have to remove concrete tile, then attach base to the rafter, and then install replacement tile. There were three people working on the roof and it took about five hours to install all elf foods and prepare a raking for solar panels installation. Now we can lift solar panels and connect them together. Because we're installing Tesla, we're using MCI rapid shutdown and we have to install one device per three panels connected in series, which makes much easier installation if we compare to AP Smart rapid shutdown. For junction box, I'm using J box, which is connected to the rail, and uh, it's going to be located under one of the panels, so it's extra protection from sun and rain. And here's how Tesla delivering power walls. It has reusable packaging that can be returned and reused for another delivery. Inside the box, we have power wall itself, front cover mount to install this on a wall and uh, some bags with uh, bolts and a uh, few electrical items. Power wall can be mounted on the floor or on a wall. In this case we are mounting them on a wall and uh, it's going to be attached with uh, four lug bolts that we have to drive into studs. To install two power walls on the same level, the fastest way is to use laser level and attach two brackets first and then install power walls. Now is a fun part, we have to lift 300 pounds and uh, install this on a bracket. Yep. Yep. After installing first power wall, I'm going to run conduit to solar panels and uh, after that install second one, just to have more space to work. To connect conduits together from inside and outside of the garage, I'm going to use 3 quarters LB with 6 inch nipple, and it's just perfect length to connect two LBs together. I'm using outdoor rated sealant and uh, I'm going to reseal this one more time in a few days when the sealant is going to dry. And here is a conduit going from a roof to power walls. Next step is to run conduits from main electrical panel to AC disconnects and to two power walls. And it has to be connected to a 60 amps breaker with 6 gauge wires. To connect main electrical panel and run wires from outside to inside, I'm going to use 6x6x4 six by six by metal box with a 2 inch nipple. And now it's time to install second power wall. Two of them are going to be connected with inch and a quarter EMT conduit. We need to install two AC disconnects, one for each power wall, and it has to be installed outside next to electrical panel. And to minimize amount of conduits, I'm going to install another metal box 8x8x6 each. Here is an alternative way how to rim conduits if you don't have such a big rimmer. Mm. 
After installing metal enclosure inside the garage, I did use two 6 inch nipples and I can install two AC disconnects. And uh, here is the two AC disconnects installed. Now we can run all wires between all components. One Powerwall 3 has 6 MPPT inputs, so we can connect all strings to one of them. But to maximize efficiency, I'm going to DC couple two Powerwalls and connect 12 panels to one and 12 panels to other. We're done with the PV wires, it's connected. We're done with the conduits. And the next step is to run wires from main panel From a 60 amp breaker, it's gonna go through conduits, will end in the AC disconnect, and from AC disconnect, it's gonna go to um, power walls. For leg 2 and neutral, we have to identify wires, and uh, usually I did use electrical tape, but here, first time, I'm using this paint marker, and it's speeding up process a lot. Next step, I'm installing rapid shutdown button to turn power walls off in case of emergency. For two Tesla power walls, we need to run two wires for a rapid shutdown. Those two wires can land in one button enclosure, but inside the button we have to have two set of contacts. And at this point, we are done with the installation. Here is a Tesla backup switch is going to be connected. I have to call my electric company and they are going to install this. Now we can add all placards and we are ready for inspection. Here's a just few pictures of uh, installation. All power walls wired. Here a Tesla backup switch on the left waiting for electric company to install this. And the two power walls with installed front covers. Alright guys, that's all about this video. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.